All right, so today we're gonna actually gonna gonna go ahead and um, do a little user adjustments. Uh, we're gonna actually try and make backtrack a little bit more personal because it is actually full operating system. But the first one we're gonna go do is go ahead and uh, I really don't like Firefox anymore. I mean, it's okay, but I wanna I wanna go ahead and use Chromium. So we're just gonna go ahead and open a terminal. I'm gonna simply type app get install. Uh, I can never get this right. Oh, here you go. Um, Chromium browser. It seems to be more stable than uh, than the other uh, than the regular Google Chrome. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, it should it shouldn't take too much to install it. But anyway, uh, yeah, well, we're gonna try and go ahead and make it personal, and uh, I should be able to be because I plan on using this as a full blown operating system to do daily. Uh, daily task on the internet and uh typing papers and whatnot. I mean it's and especially I like the the fact that it's very light and very um resourceful and it's not just an operating system, it's more than that. So anyway so we got the Google Chrome browser installed. Let me go ahead so Alright, so now we run into this problem, the Chromium browser is gonna run on its root. So we're gonna go ahead and just change the settings on the Chromium browser and uh I think I'm gonna leave this video for I'm gonna be right back while I get those commands and uh I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we're faced with this Chromium um user restriction which is not running in root, we're gonna go ahead and give loop privileges. Uh I know it's a bit late, I had to run off to school, that's what I have did, so that's why the time is different, it's not like I changed it, but anyway, so <laughs> I'll be told. Um so we're gonna go ahead and t uh type in C D for space. You make sure you get that space U S R L I B um oops B not N B Chromium browser. So we got that. So after you get that in blue letters we're gonna type in hex edit space chromium oh uh, dash browse. Then after that, see where it's blinking at the seven? I don't know if it's going to be exactly 7 on your end, but just go ahead and press Tab and Control S. So after that, we're going to go ahead and search for Get E U I D. Okay, see where it's flashing right here, where it says G E right here? Well, you're going to go ahead and just go ahead, be very careful to type in exactly as what I type is G E T P P I D. And after that, let me make sure because I'm not even I'm not sure. So we're gonna go ahead and press Control, uh, Control, Control X, and we're gonna go ahead and say yes. So there you go. So now we're gonna go ahead and type in EIX to close the terminal, and now we should be able to use our Google Chromium browser with privileges. There you go. So now we're in, and uh, hopefully you found this somewhat helpful. And and um, I did not do it alone. I mean, I didn't get help from various sources. I just didn't find a video on on YouTube, so, and I think it will be a neat idea to bring it to you guys. And uh, probably next time, I'll probably end up bringing Open Office to Backtrack because, uh, like I said, well, we're trying to make Backtrack uh, user friendly, not user friendly, but like be able to use Backtrack as an everyday user and trying to get it customized with the with the commands and other basic commands and stuff like that with backtrack and and, and uh start doing some fun stuff with it. But first we gotta personalize it, get uh PDF readers, we gotta get um you know, all the basic necessities that you need on the internet, you know, like you typing some sort of document or typing some sort of you know, stuff like that. But uh, it's a full blown operating system, it should be customizable as much as you want. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the the, the commands or the descriptions um the commands in the description. And I'm also going to leave a link to where I actually got them because I did not do this on my own and uh, I actually got some help with this on, uh, from another website. But I'm going to go ahead and leave them down there. And if you found this useful, please subscribe and leave a rating or a comment and I'll be able to sure get back to you. And uh, hopefully you found this uh, useful. And uh, yeah, and uh, take it easy. Bye.